Hello and welcome to the fourth video of this series about creating crude pages using Next.js and Redux Observable. In the previous video, we have initialized our Redux application store, created our action creators, and reducer to query and display a list of user information. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe. In today's video, we will implement the pagination and delete feature. We will create our API, actions, epics, and finally, the GUI. But before I continue, I would like to encourage you to ask questions or leave a comment in the comment section. I will try to answer to the best of my knowledge. First, let's add the MUI's table pagination component inside table row. This component is parameterized with count, the total number of records, page, the offset from where to start taking records, rows per page, the number of records to show per page, and on page change. Import the components. Let's check the MUI documentation for pagination. On rows per page change event is invoked when the number of records to show for page is changed. On page change, when a different page index is clicked. Let's define the event handlers. Handle change rows per page. It accepts the target value. Inside it, let's set this value as the new limit. Handle change page. It accepts the event and the selected page which we set as the new offset value. Let's run the application. Let's double check our code on pagination. When we change the page index or the number of records to be shown, it will trigger the use effect that retrieves a new list of users based on the parameters passed. Click the next page and check if the parameters passed have changed and the data displayed. Let's test if the number of records displayed per page also works. It seems like all's good in pagination. It's now time to create the delete API. Under pages, API, users, create a new JavaScript file, id.js. Let's copy the handle function we previously created in the index file. Next, let's copy the try catch with the if statement. But let's change the method to delete. Let's get the ID from the request query and use it in the work loss when calling the Prisma's delete user statement. Don't forget to use parse in, as this value is a string and our ID field is integer. Not doing so will delete nothing. Let's set the response status to 200 and the response body to the deleted user returned by the delete query. Next, let's create the delete action states. Add the delete success case in reducer, which returns the deleted user, and status deleted equals true. Let's add the delete action creators for start, success, and error. And finally, the delete user epic. We filter the action pipe with delete start and call the delete user API via Rx backend utility class. Let's change the URL to API, users, and the user ID. If successful, we pass the deleted user in the deleted users OK action creator. Otherwise, we pass the error message in the delete users KO action creator. Don't forget to export the delete user epic. It's now time to update our GUI. Add a new table cell at the rightmost column of the user information. Add a button group and a button with a delete icon. Add on click equals open dialog user event to the button and pass the current user in the function. Import the components. Since we add a new column, 
we need to increase the hall span to the row that displays no user information. Let's create a new state dialog, which will ask whether we want to delete a particular user or not. Create an initial state empty dialog. Add and set the following properties, open equals false, text equals empty, and title equals empty as well. We also need to define confirm and cancel events, functions that return null. Let's create the open dialog function. Set open to true to display the dialog. Set the title and text and define the events for confirm, which is handle delete user, passing the selected user, and the cancel event as well. Handle delete user is a function that returns a function. Doing like this will help us avoid another set of round brackets when we call it. Reset dialog simply resets the dialog to its initial state. Handle delete user function dispatch the delete user action. It sets the action to delete start, which activates the delete user epic. It will call the delete API, passing the user ID. If deletion is successful, it will return the deleted user via payload and eventually stored in the reducer along with the delete status. Let's get the deleted user in our selector and assign a new name, stored user. Get the stored user. Let's add a new use effect where we will display the information regarding the deleted user. Check if the status is deleted as we define in the reducer. Reset the dialog and dispatch retrieve users action to refresh the page. Let's add an initial state for our alert with open and text as properties. Set open to false. Like dialog, please create a new state for alert and set the value to the initial state we just defined. Oops. Make sure that the parameter of retrieve users is an object. Set the alert message with the information regarding the deleted user. To avoid calling use effect multiple times, add offset, limit, and status as the parameters. Let's try deleting a user. It seems like we are missing something. Yes, we haven't defined the dialog and alert. Dialog is a dialog and alert is a snack bar. Check MUI for the documentation. Import the component. In the snack bar, we set a new event reset alert on close event. We need to create it. Reset alert. Set the alert to the initial value. It also resets the status to the initial value and clears the user in the Redux state. Let's define the action creators that we have just introduced. In the user module, add new action states clear user and clear state. Add the corresponding entries in the reducer as well. For the clear status, we set the status to the initial value. And for the clear user, we set the user to null. Finally, let's define our action creators. They don't need any epics. Let's try pressing the delete button again. This time, it shows our dialog. Hit disagree, and it should close it. Hit agree, and it should delete the record. Let's check the networks tab to see the delete API being called. This one. Request method delete with parameter 1. Oops, there's another problem again. It seems like we forgot to import the action creators. Delete the user with ID 2. Our alert is working, and it displays the ID of the deleted user. Clicking outside will hide this snack bar. It will also go away after several seconds. If you have the Redux plugin installed in your browser, you can also check it to see what action creators are invoked. If we delete a user, it will change state from delete user start to success. And all the retrieve users would change state to retrieve user start to success. We can also observe the state brought about by actions in the action tab. And in the deep tab, we can see the changes in the state whether we add new values or delete old ones. And that concludes this video. In summary, 
We have set up a Redux store for our application and populated the UI with user information retrieved from the store. In the following video, we will implement the add user feature. I look forward to seeing you in the following video.